Hi, my name is Ophir Gabe, bringing you another QuickBooks Online tutorial. And today I wanted to discuss how to set up your chart of accounts. Uh, I'm going to be using a sample QuickBooks company file. It's called Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. And uh, let's dive right in, okay? Uh, to access your chart of accounts, you click on your gear icon and then you go to under the settings column you'll see chart of accounts uh, you just click on that or alternatively you could uh, hold control alt and the a key and it'll take you right there um, anyways here's the chart of accounts and it's basically what the chart of accounts is it's a list of all of the accounts that you're going to be using in um, on your financial statements okay so as you can see here we have um, different different types of accounts we have a uh, bank accounts of course uh, th those are going to be your checkings your, your savings accounts um, uh, we have accounts receivable that's money coming in that's um, money that your clients or customers owe you for for sales that you have made uh, you have your your inventory accounts if you're an inventory business a retail business um, you have your your other current asset accounts which are um, you know going to be your prepaid expenses prepaid insurance um, assets basically just to give you a quick uh, definition for assets there anything that the business owns that that's going to create a future benefit for the business um, so you know uh, trucks are also fixed fixed assets any anything um, that's going to create a future benefit is an asset uh, so anyways uh, the, to keep going down the list your fixed assets are anything that's uh, physical um, it's going to include trucks, buildings, uh, furniture. That's your fixed assets. Accounts payable. That's money going out, money that you owe your vendors. Um, it could be for inventory, for uh, utilities, anything. That accounts payable is money that you owe vendors. Uh, credit. You have your credit card accounts. That's self-explanatory. Uh, liabilities are any type of um, commitment or obligation that the business owes uh, and they include loans uh, short-term loans long-term loans anything that the business owes to somebody else this, this also includes sales tax so as you see here we have the Arizona Department of Revenue that's probably sales tax um, and then as we go down the list you'll see equity now equity is um, the remaining balance uh, if you look at the main ac accounting equation assets equals liabilities plus owners equity plus equity uh, so basically equity is going to be the, the balance remaining w w once you subtract uh, your liabilities from your assets so it's basically um, your your book balance here you you know so your retained earnings are going to be part of your equity um, and then uh, you have your income accounts of course you can have uh, as many as you'd like to give you a clear picture of your business um, so uh, you can list your income accounts and you can have uh, sub accounts we'll go into that a little bit later um, and then of course you have your cost of good sold account um, cost of goods sold are any direct expenses incurred uh, to produce your income and uh, they're uh, contrary to what many people uh, believe they're not uh, actually expenses they're contra income accounts so they they reduce your income um, and then you have your your regular expenses these are uh, overhead expenses usually um, and that's it that, that's going to make up your whole chart of accounts and then of course uh, you have other expenses and other income these are these are um, when it's 
when the income or expense accounts are preceded by the word other, other, um, they're usually these are income and expense items that are not ordinary to your business. I hope uh, that that makes sense. All right, so um, once you have. Um, an idea of what, what kind of income, what kind of uh, accounts you need for your business. You could always, um, when you when you first start your QuickBooks company file, um, it's going to ask you to select an industry. And based on that selection, it's going to give you a default uh, list of accounts, a new chart of accounts, um, based on that industry. And you can always add or delete accounts. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, any account that's already in there, you could just go here. Uh, let me go to an expense type account. You could just click this right arrow and then delete it if you if you don't no longer need that account um, or it's it's not pertin pertinent to your business. You could just uh, delete it. Um, if you want to make a new account, you just click this new button on the top right hand corner. And then, uh, of course, you select your category type, and that's uh, we just went through all all the different types of um, the accounts that you can create. And then, uh, so let's say, for example, we're creating an expense account, and it's going to be you, uh, once you select expenses, you select the the type of account, and let's just call this uh, charitable contributions, and then you name whatever. Um, the expenses is um, and then you could put in a uh, brief description if you like and then uh, right here you you have the option to make it uh, a sub account of another account um, and that's just to better organize things on your financial statements uh, by creating sub accounts you have the option to then later um, expand or collapse reports to, to condense the information or make it more detailed uh, by expanding it. So that, that's basically a, um, a brief rundown of your chart of accounts and how, how things work. Um, if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, you could always email me also. I'll leave my email address uh, in the description of this video and um, thank you for watching and have a nice day